Hello, my friends of Qatari Labs. My name is Sol Montoya, and in this tutorial, we are going to do a process that, by sure, will uh, that will save you a lot of time because uh, most of the times you need a digital elevation model for your groundwater model, and this is a lengthy process that involves downloading the file and processing that in a GIS software, and then inserting that into uh, model views. But now we have done a shortcut in Python. So what does it mean? That we have created some Python scripts where you can download directly, you can translate directly, you can clip directly, and then you can you get the specific format of the elevation that will be inserted in here, this, uh, this model. So let's do that. Uh, Okay, so here we have a groundwater model that it will be in the description of the model. Okay, and on the GIS we have two files. Okay, this is the this is the area of interest. Okay, this is the active extension of the model, and this is um, a polygon that is not. I mean that is a little bit um, is wider. Okay, than the area of interest. Why? Because we don't want that the clipped elevation that we are going to bring is just exactly the extension of the model because there will be some problem at the edges okay for this tutorial we are going to use windows of system for linux okay because why we use windows of system for linux okay because we have to use jedal okay and working with jedal in in windows uh, is kind of well uh, I tried many methods and I wasn't able to work with that, but I was able to work it with Windows system for Linux. So here, I mean, how you go to a store, you look for a Jedal, uh, for a Ubuntu distribution. Okay, what well, Ubuntu? Ubuntu. Okay, so for example, here I'm using the 22.4.2. Okay, so uh, Ubuntu, okay, so I run Ubuntu here. Okay, uh, in order to, there are some libraries that you have to, to install. Okay, but as well you have to install a uh, sudo, uh, sudo, you have to install sudo app install gitalbin, okay. I have already installed it, okay? So this Jedal bin is actually the Jedal engine, okay? That you are going to need, okay? And the Python package will be uh, related to that. Okay, so let's see, let's see, let's move to CD, okay, MNT, C, let's shift to the C drive, okay? The, all the files of this, uh, all the files of this uh, tutorial, are will be delivered in this folder so for this tutorial just place this folder under your document folder okay great and then we are going to move to this folder in windows subsystem for linux so cd users this will be your user okay your username okay so actually this is my username but in your case will be your username so we go to the documents and this is the file of the that we are going to provide okay so here we launch jupyter lab okay and then here control c and then i paste it here okay okay so let's clean this let's clean this Okay, uh, let's clean this as well because actually I'm going to recreate this. Okay. okay, so here you have two scripts. The first one to download the file and the second one to translate it and to clip it. Okay, so let's see. Let's kernel clear all output, restart. Okay, so we first we log it into R with your R data account. So this is... Uh, Okay, you put your password. Okay, great. So I have, 
And then here, these are the lat and long of the coordinates, okay? You have to capture that, even that, that this is in UTM, okay? If you want to capture some coordinates related to locate this in WGS84, the quickest way is just to change the projection of the, just to change the projection. And from here in the in this coordinate box, you can capture the X min, X max, Y min, Y max. Okay, so with that, with those values, uh, you, you look for the AST, AST GTM. And well, I think that the, the date of this data set is around 2000. Okay, so this time, this temporal distribution could, should work. Okay, and then we look for the results, and then we only have one image, and that's okay because. This is a data set that only has one image per site. Per, I mean, yeah, per site. Okay, and then we download that, and it weighs 30 megabytes. And if we go here to raster, okay, here we have just the dem and the num. Okay, great. Okay, yeah. So we go to the scripts and then we are going to work with the translate. Here we import Jedal, we import Jeho Pandas, uh, Rasterio as well. Okay, so here clear all outputs. Okay, and then we list all the TIFF files. We have two TIFF files, one that is the DEM, that is the digital elevation, and the other that is the NAM. So we are working with the DEM. I open I open the Jedal with uh, with Jedal and with Rasterio. Why with Jedal and Rasterio? And uh, this is because when I did that, I actually did it in Linux, and there was an issue with the that I could not access the array uh, with Jedal, and I have to access with Rasterio. Okay, actually, it's no problem. I mean, they is expected for you that you don't have to code this again because but I just explained the code. Okay, so we get the, this is the array of the digital elevation, and then we translated that. Okay, so we are going to make a copy of our uh, elevation, but it will be, because the elevation comes in WGS84, and then we have to translate it to the projection, the UTM of your project. Okay, so in this case will be 32718, so that the, 32718 that is WGS84 South 18. Okay, so and with that we do the translation, and that is amazing because here you have already the translated them. Okay, and this we do we okay, so we have to clip it. Okay, so here we have the chip file that is the elevation extent, so we are going to clip it to this. Extension, not the exactly the area of interest, okay, but not the active part, but extension because it has, I mean, it's my recommendation to be a little bit wider, okay, and then here we just clip it and then we save it as a GRD, and GRD is extension of the surface grid file that is the elevation, is the elevation format that is compatible with model Muse, okay, so okay so then we open that okay we open our model okay what we have created what we have created here is this one the the elevation oh sorry 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 no this is the num no i don't i don't like i like the dem sorry this is the dem TFT core. Okay, sorry. Sorry, I don't want the num delete. I want just the dem. Okay, so here I have the dem clip it. Okay, so if we, if I go here, file, import, surface grid file. I have already the dim clipped. Okay, so this is the dim clipped. 
okay and then we in, apply directly to model top and set value of intersected cells and that's it okay ah oh, well there is i will do it again yeah because on the borders there are some issues but we can file import surface grid file okay so we import that set values and by interpolation this goes in directly to model top okay and then you see some noises here this is because you have set that as interpolation but actually you haven't inserted a interpolation method so you just go here to edit data sets require layer definition model top will be with fitted surface for example Okay, and that's it. Okay, with that, you have already the elevation in the model. Okay, without much stress, and so on. And this is here, and then we can plot the elevation. Well, the, with the with the exaggeration is here. Okay, and the process is really easy and is really straightforward. And then you can have this that it was actually um really um it was intensive uh, on the amount of time okay uh, but you can have it and you can do it in just some minutes i mean and this will apply for any model anywhere okay so i hope that this tutorial will be helpful for you and i in invite you to run a windows of system for linux because actually solve some issues that we have when running a solve some issues that we have when we run a, some a advanced library okay some special libraries okay please have a great day thank you for following us share and hope to see you in coming courses